Hello everybody, welcome back to Our Daily Victory. And today I want to show you one of the recipes that I get the most requests for. And that is uh, the recipe for making your own homemade deodorant at home. I know that sounds kind of funny, but you would not believe how many requests I get for this. Uh, most of the deodorant that you buy in the store is very toxic, even the natural ones uh, that we try to buy instead of the traditional ones. They don't seem to work very well. They don't, they don't do their job very well. But I found one uh, that we make at home that works better than anything that I've ever used and I wanna share that with you today. Now, uh, just so you know, this is not one that I created on my own. I got this from a website and there's a thousand of them out there. Uh, but if you go to theprairiehomestead.com, you can find this recipe and lots of other ones. This is, this is a really, this is a recipe that you can find in a lot of different places and her, her recipe here works extremely well. So that's what I'm gonna share with you. Uh, there's four ingredients with this. They're all non-toxic, they're all natural and, and very, very easy to use. The first thing is coconut oil. You can get uh, large quantities of coconut oil, which I highly suggest for you. Uh, and your family. Uh, I got this one from Costco. It's uh, very inexpensive and you can use it for a thousand different things. So get yourself some coconut oil. This is a third of a cup of coconut oil that we're going to start with. So that's the first thing. By the way, when you get coconut oil, it shouldn't be liquid in the container. It should be at least semi-solid like you see right here. Okay. So that's the first thing. A third of a cup of coconut oil. Get that out of there. The, the next thing is a quarter cup of baking soda. I may not have a full quarter of a cup right here, but you get the idea. A quarter of a cup of baking soda. I'll put that in here. And that's just about right. I'll put this over here. Now the next thing is arrowroot powder. That's probably something that a lot of you may not have heard of. It's a natural uh, it's a natural item that you can get at your local uh, at your local health food store. Really easy to find. Arrowroot powder. This might be one of the more expensive items on this list. Arrowroot powder is just a touch on the expensive side, but when I say expensive, a, a small amount for a few dollars is still all it is. And you can make so many batches of, uh, of deodorant with this that it's definitely worth spending a couple of dollars for arrowroot powder. And same thing with that, this quarter cup of that. Doesn't have to be totally exact. And the last thing is cornstarch. Now, some of you may uh, have a, an allergic reaction to corn. That's very common. Uh, you got to be careful about the kind of cornstarch that you get. This this is uh, this is one that I get in larger quantities right here. Uh, so if you do have a reaction to cornstarch, if you're allergic to corn, then just use more arrowroot powder and baking soda. That's all you have to do. There's no reason why you can't do that. I like to back off the cornstarch a little bit for myself as well. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I use a little bit more of the arrowroot powder instead of more of the cornstarch. So I, uh, I put some cornstarch here and then just a little bit more of that arrowroot to make up the difference. And this is, this is literally all it is. Nothing complicated about this. All you gotta do is mix it up. I like to use a fork to mix it up. Doesn't really matter, whatever you like. But mix this up, it's kind of a paste. Now, uh, the other thing that you can add to this, it's a little bit messy when we're, make, we're mixing it up, as you can see. The other thing that you can add to this is some essential oils. Uh, one that's suggested a lot is lavender. I'm not a big fan of lavender myself, but my wife really loves that, so she enjoys uh, adding lavender to her deodorant recipe. You can do lots of other ones. There's a few that I do not suggest. I would not suggest putting peppermint oil in your deodorant recipe. It will burn. That's a, not a pleasant experience, so don't do that. I also suggest uh, not using um, citrus type essential oils. The citrus essential oils will tend to burn your underarms, especially if you do shave your underarms. Uh, most women do, and some, some guys do. And if you shave your underarms, you do not want to add uh, citrus essential oils, probably not eucalyptus or, uh, or peppermint, like I said before. But you can see I've got, if you and down here, you can see I've got kind of a paste. And that's exactly the way that you want it to look, just like that. 
Now, some people like it to be a little more oily than this. You can always add a little bit more coconut oil to make it more oily, but about this consistency is just right. And when you apply it, it should be about like this. You can see. So I take about about that much on my fingertip for one of my underarms there. And it works perfect. This will keep you this will uh, keep you fresh longer than any deodorant, any conventional deodorant that I've ever used. The, uh, the antiperspirant quality, which means you don't sweat as much, is not as strong as some of the uh, commercial uh, antiperspirant deodorants. It doesn't matter. It's not a bad thing to sweat a little bit, but this will prevent you from sweating profusely, and uh, the deodorant quality is fantastic. Uh, as I said before, I've never found one that works better than this. This is one that I recommend for all of my patients to use. And that didn't take me any time to make that. It just took a couple of minutes, put the stuff in there, mix it up with a fork, and you're done. And I store it in a little jar like this. You can get these little small jars like this at your grocery store most of the time. If not, they're not hard to find online. And this, of course, you can reuse as many times as you like. But that's how I store it. It's just like that in the jar. Nice and easy to do that. So the, uh, the one thing that you may uh, want to know about this is that coconut oil, when it warms up, uh, turns to liquid, just, uh, just like butter does when you, when you heat it up in the microwave. I don't use the microwave, but when you do heat up butter, it liquefies. And coconut oil does the same thing when it gets warmer. So sometimes, uh, especially in the warmer months of the year, the coconut oil might separate out to the top, so you, you may, uh, it may require you to mix it up a little bit occasionally. I just do that with my finger, since you apply it to your underarms with your finger. Mix it up a little bit with your finger, make sure all the ingredients stir together, and, uh, and then you can use it just like normal. But that's the only, only thing that you might want to know about this. But this is, this is going to be the best deodorant that you've ever used. You can flavor it up with things like lavender oil like I have right here, if that's what you prefer. Um, be careful about the essential oils that you use and enjoy this recipe. Now for more uh, recipes like this and more uh, awesome resources that we have, go to OurDailyVictory.com. Make sure while you're there you sign up for the newsletter and then check out all of our other great resources that we have available for you. Uh, this has been your deodorant recipe. We will see you next time. Have a good one. We will